All right, guys, episode number 69. That's my sixth video in two days. Oof. I won't be making videos this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, as I have plans. But on Monday, I'll be back, or maybe Sunday night, we'll see. So in this video, I'm just gonna share some of the sealed wax that I have, and then I'm gonna open up one thing. So the one that, my first one that I've got for a sealed box is by far the most valuable. So this is 2007, 2008 Stadium Club. So it's Kevin Durant's rookie year. You can get a Stadium Club, some of those refractors that are extremely rare. What's interesting about this product, you have four autographs and eight relics in every box. For being 13, 14 years old, that was really unusual to see that many autos and relics in here. So it's hard to do a comp on this. Um, I saw one, I don't know if it was buy it now or best offer about a month ago. It was about two grand. Um, I don't know if that's if that was the actual price it went for or if that was buy it now or a best offer accepted. I'm not sure, but I don't plan on selling it this year. I'll probably hold on to it for a couple more years. The amount of sealed wax with Kevin Durant rookie in here just goes down and down and down. So it's hard to believe that this would go down in price. So I'll probably just hold on to it and maybe it will buy a car for one of my kids in five years. We'll see. So that one I have no intentions of selling really for a while. I have a couple, so some of these I got in trade. I think all of those I got in trade. Yeah, all of these that I'm gonna show you here I got in trade. So a mega box and a blaster box from series one. I got two mega boxes from 2021 of Bowman. I think these were purchased, I think, up in the cities and then I got them in trade. So the value here comes from the first Bowman and then there's actually two exclusive five card chrome packs. So sometimes that's where the, the value can come in from. These I don't plan on selling for a long time. A select box, got this in trade too. It's only 24 cards, but I see this will go up. So this is the rookie class of Justin Herbert and Tua and a whole bunch of others. And then a prism box. Got this in trade as well. So that one has LaMelo and Anthony Edwards. So these, I just have them in a safe place. Keep away from humidity and I'll save these for a, quite a while. I don't plan on selling those. Same with the Stadium Club box. Another one I picked up today, I got this today. So today is the release date of Series 2 Tops. I know some Targets, since Target headquarters is based in Minnesota, I know Target is usually releases them a few days earlier in Minnesota. So that's well known across the United States. Minnesota's Targets sometimes gets the product first for whatever reason. So these blaster boxes were $19.99. You get one medallion card and I think Monday or Tuesday I'm gonna do a video of all my medallions and patches and stuff you get from blasters so I've accumulated a lot I'm gonna save this one but I'm gonna open the hanger right now so the hangers are $12 it kills me to open it but I'm going to so there's a couple of rookies Alex Kravoff Kravoff from the twins Key Brian Hayes is a big one. Cronenworth for San Diego. So it comes in a hanger box. You hang on the wall, so I call it a hanger box. You get 67 cards. May contain 60 to 65 cards based on if you get a thick relic card. So it comes in a little compartment like this. If you want to pause it, you can see the odds. Of course, you can find that. Is it a focus? Maybe not. It says 
Gold, one in three hanger boxes. Vintage stock, one in 58. Autographs are super duper rare, but we'll see. Looking at this, I don't see anything thick. Usually I put the inserts and parallels right in the middle. You're gonna see a lot of team cards with series two. And then it's all-star cards and debut cards in the update series. All right, so I'm gonna put the inserts on the bottom because they're probably the, the funnest things to do. All right, so I think there's like 30 to 40 rookies in series two. Sam Huff, it's gonna be hard to find. Let's do this. Sam Huff. So these are the first time that I've seen these in person. I've watched some Jabs family videos. And when you find a short print, usually they're upside down. He's off to a hot start. Xander Bogart. Alex Cobb. So usually you see the rookies kind of go, they're all in the same area. Looking for some twins here, some Twinkies. Nothing too exciting here. I think we can skip some of the base here. Keep it a short video. We know the Shields. It must be the son of the one that played. Well, it doesn't say. There was a, the Shields that played rookie in 1990. I wonder if that's his son. George Springer in a Blue Jays uniform. Got a rookie. Ooh, he's just hopped a good start. He's one of the top five rookies. Plays for the Marlins. Nice pose there. And one thing I gotta look for, short prints. So there's a code on the bottom of the card. So if you look on the bottom, the last two digits right there indicate if it's a short print so 23 and i'll sleeve up the chisholm there so what i do is if you see an upside down card that could be an indicator as a short print I see a lot of horizontal cards but what i do typically is i look for on the very bottom i look to see the numbers two three there i like how tops puts the war stats on cards now that's my favorite indicator on how well the players perform is definitely the, the war. I think this guy, was he the rookie of the year for National League? I think he was. Wasn't a whole lot of rookies to pick from in the National League with a shortened season. Jose Ramirez, he put up good stats. I picked up four of his Update rookies, gold foil. They were two dollars a piece. I got four of them. I figured for eight bucks for four foils of Jose Ramirez was pretty good. Shin Chu Chu. A war of 34. He's been around for a while. Putting up some good numbers. Yes, that's the one card I was looking for the most. Alex Kirilov. So in Minnesota, he's been on the list of the best prospects for a long time drafted in 2016 so five years it took for this guy really to become relevant cool got a couple of the big ones here let's see i'm gonna try to keep this video pretty short let's see some interesting covid related celebrations with masks and Distancing. Yeah. A lot of team cards. That's one thing I don't like about Series 2 as much is there's just too many team cards. Some are kind of neat photos, but they just don't hold the value. There's Vladdy putting up a huge season. Man. I don't see my boy, Bo, Bo Bichette, there. Bummer. Man. It's like the ice bath challenge from 2016. 
All right. Hmm. Let's see, I flipped up cards. I'm checking it. Nope, still two, three. All right. Yeah. So the three that I'm thinking of, I got the one of them I'm looking for. Jake Cronenworth. All right. He's got the gold cup, so that means that he played some in 2020. He played 54 games last year, batted 285. All right. I got... Dang, I'm glad I opened this. I actually got some of the good rookies. Love those baby blue uniforms. With the twins. All right, I'll take this. Gary Sanchez gold, number to 2021. Other players in the Yankees I would have preferred, but. Well, Ted Williams die cut. 70, so it must be the 70th year of tops they did a 74. Cool, I like that one. I got a couple good ones. So they did a recreation of the 86 tops. 65 tops. Like the Eddie Matthews autograph I got. 65 tops original autograph PSA certified. Christian Pache hasn't put up the stats yet this year, but he was one of the top five, six, seven rookies going into the year. Joey Votto. Is he a Hall of Famer? I think he's pretty close. Borderline 2,000 hits, 300 home runs. Borderline. First year, 07. Christian Yelich. Man, I thought he would do better this year. I was thinking it was just like a one or one year slump or two year slump, but I think he's still young. He'll come back. Eight years in the majors, 151 home runs. And then we have two exclusive blue parallels. No names, but well, I think that's pretty good. Three rookies, if I think. If I, I'd be five bucks for those three rookies. I actually happen to have top loaders here so I can throw them in there. But I think if I saw those three cards, I think I'd pay five bucks for those three rookies. I think so. So we're not too far off from, I'll take it. Put it there. So those are the, so three of the top five big ones. I didn't. I guess I didn't get the biggest one. Keep Ryan Hayes, but I'll take it. All right, not bad. I'll take it. All right, looking for the picture for the thumbnail. Eh, mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Yeah, pretty average. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm, good enough. Okay. Thanks for watching. I guess that's going to be my new thing is making really odd looking faces at the end so I can get a thumbnail. Sorry, I guess you have to put up with it or just stop watching with two minutes left. Sound good? All right. Have a good weekend. I'll be back on Monday. I'm not going to have videos Saturday and Sunday. You'll have to either just go back and watch videos or do other something else in your life. I don't know what could be better than watching my videos, but... Good luck. May God be with you.